morning. So I'm going to use my one take policy only to make this recording and I just thought I'll give an introduction to um, what I do back in the UK because I'm basically now contemplating the idea of trying to do the same thing or maybe even doing the same thing um, within Africa. So back in the UK I work in healthcare marketing um, and this basically means working for pharmaceutical companies via communication agencies to help increase the awareness, use, um, understanding of um, either medical drugs or medical devices that they've created or are distributing. Um, so this varies in terms of activities that could be done. It could be e-learning programs, it could be working on um, meetings that reach a wider audience and basically educate them about managing a condition and you know the goods and the don'ts you know well, the goods and the bads what's coming through with the science innovation and you know what to expect or anything else so it's, it's really broad um, but the main focus is increasing the use of a drug and personally for me um, where I get most of my satisfaction from is being able to develop something that is actually going to make a difference, whether it's creating an e-learning patient story that would, help, that would help to communicate the challenges that patients feel so that a sales rep can actually be better equipped to go out and talk to a doctor and advise on the new options that could be available to help manage this patient's condition. Um, Without making this a five minute video, I'm going to sort of cut to the chase. So I am now looking at um, what this would look like in Africa. So um, like I said, my personal preference is medication adherence. So for me, it's more about, you know, fair enough, it's fantastic to work for a company that can basically pay me well to um, increase disease awareness. Um, but at the same time, in, in addition to increasing awareness, I want to be making sure that what I personally am doing is making sure that people understand the drug and that they are using the drug. And in the UK, it's a very different market in the sense that how once you've gotten the drug into the market, it's just a case of getting people to use it. Um, in Africa, it seems to be there's more problems. You've got to deal with the fake drugs, which seem to be able to pass through regulations a bit more. Um, or restrictions or borders or whatever it is that they're passing through. Um, you also have to deal with um, traditional beliefs. Um, people going to a herbal doctor or a traditional doctor for support or for help or for guidance on how to clear the situation. And that lack of understanding of actually, um, yes, it's a Western drug, but actually a lot of these Western drugs come from the, 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 you know, the identification of traditional medication and in key ingredients and then put, producing those in a higher level so that they actually get to solving a problem. So there is a strong link between herbal and um, rest of medication. Um, so yeah, so I realise I'm reaching three and a half minutes. I'm going to probably make this a short video and then jump to part two, which will be in the next video, which will be focusing more on, okay, so part one, you've learned what I do in the UK. And um, part two, you'd understand the purpose of this video.